The hey, Adam and talk. Wax Show, episode five, five. Five, five. This is in uh, commemoration of uh, Crip Mac. Long live my boy. Free him. Free the Crip Mac. Um, so, okay. What Tell I, me about this person that you've brought around the studio multiple times that you now are telling me is some sort of informant? What's, what's going on? Well, it started, believe it or not, behind yeah. our boy, the one that fans got. G-Face. The other one. The other one you don't like to mention. This the guy. Okay. Right? So you got your girl on the phone during the podcast? I'm in love, bro. <laughs> there are lines that I never even thought to cross. Wow, okay. Oh okay, R and B. I'm gonna get off the phone. Adam's hating. I I don't want Lena, Lena to get mad. <laughs> Ruin our double pod, right. double pod date. Listen, so listen. I like it. Well, my, Maybe we could switch. Well, my IG got swapped. You don't want to switch? That's that. Mine's is fire. Yeah, insane. No, nah, mine's fire. Mine's award winning. You can't f with mine, bro. I mean, you. My shit do tricks. Right back at you. My shit do tricks. <laughs> Blur that. <laughs> Blur that. A whole lot going on, boy. Wow, that was a whole, a whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Listen, so. I'm going to go tell Lena, hey, guess what? <laughs> I got a surprise for you. It's so, wax. D <laughs> no, that was ass, <laughs> Yes, sir. Welcome to My Life Story 702. I go by Money Man. I want to say make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, I appreciate all the love and support, man. Keep turning up with the channel, man. Keep. Um, Engaging, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, I got more videos coming soon, so stay tuned in for that. And let's get to the video. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, I know, but you if want we, me to f I'm not if we switch, it. I'm not doing it. Yeah, it's I, your wife. I, I feel like it might not be good for the future of the pod. Oh, I don't want her to leave you, bro. No, oh, vice versa. <laughs> Jason Love did his thing, but you can't beat that white cack. <laughs> hey, yo, you got bars. Yo, oh, hey. God. Oh, and Remo, repost the shit. Tell Remo, repost the shit. Okay. But, okay, tell, tell me about the Pesci thing first. Um, So, my IG got snatched. Pesci turned me on to this dude, right? To get it. So, I don't, I don't, you know, dude's cool. I send him a little bread or whatever. And after a couple weeks, Pesci start going in on him in the group chat. He like, bitch ass nigga, what's this, 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 that, this, this, that. I don't know what the f is going on because I ain't never met this dude, right? So, dudes tell Pesci. You keep talking shit, I'm going to tell Wack you a rat. Mm. Right? I'm like, what the f*** is he talking about? Right? So, it's right here, bro. Right? He's telling, they going back and forth, and then he sends me this clip. Okay. And it's Pesci talking to the police. Okay, because somebody was posting all that on their story so and they were tagging me. So I don't know what the f*** it is. It. He says, just a sneak peek. So, I'm like, what the is this right? So I call Pesci, and that's body cam footage from a cop. From a cop. Okay. I call Pesci. I said, "Look, bro. Now this is where the bullshit started." He said, "Look, bro. What is this clip the dude sent? I, I, it's like you talking to the police. Can you tell me what's going on?" He said, "Yo, this is lying. I never told on Rand Paul." I said, "Rand Paul." Now, dude, and already told me this is about some dude named Tuka from the Bay. Hmm. So when I hear him Pesci say, "I never told on Rampa," I'm like, "Motherfucker, this is about some dude named Tuka from the Bay." Hmm. So now I already know you trying to you trying to flip something, right? So he gets Cuban on the phone. Did I call you? He called you. He called you, right? Cuban come on the phone. He don't know what's going on. So I say. I do the bullshit. I get in my bullshit. I say, Pesci, listen, man, I'm at a point in my life where I don't even care anymore. I just want to see if you're going to tell me the truth. If you told, you told. I don't even give a bro. I'm not tripping. I got other things going on. <laughs> right? So, so, so listen. That's the okay. No, so look. So I said, you know what, man? I'm just going to get off the phone. And, man, you think about what you're doing. I don't even care, right? So he hits me back. And says, he tells me, I ain't doing no lying, huh? I'm changing a lot. Flaws and bad habits that I've had. But in my whole life, right, in my, I've been different in the last 27 years of my life. I never told on anybody, and I'm, and I'm 
not in the court of law. But I love you, though, Unc, and I like where your mind and energy is. So I know he took the bait. So I wait. I hear Cuban. I said, Cuban, you see what's been on the internet? He said, what? I get, I get off the phone. Cuban must have found it. Whoever this Tuca dude is, the dude, the Instagram dude, then told Tuca, F that release the shit. Because he's been one telling Tuca not to release it. The dude is a foreigner dude, right? Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, I go to the crib, I go to sleep, I wake up, I get pictures of a crime scene. Blood splattered everywhere, right? I say, yo, Q, what the f is this? He said, Pesci, I called up with Pesci. So when I, I saw every video but the most disrespectful one, it's him in the back of a po police car and saying our neighborhood while he's telling. So I guess he told and, and, and bought some guns. Dude went to jail, had to take a deal, whatever, bought some guns. So, you know, um, I got to guess him and G-Face. Hmm. You know, well, Brick Baby's gonna love this. He don't know. It's no way Brick knows about this. No, shit. well, I don't know that he knows that he got packed out, but he knows that he got exposed for telling, and he was had a little bit we of a really smile didn't that get day. Packed out. Okay. He lucky. Cuban Rob gave him a pass because if the other crazy man would have been in, the other crazy would have been bad. That was just Cuban Rob work, and it looked to me like you went light on him. You just must have just knocked him out. Yeah, he didn't. They didn't even fuck him up. They him up, but he didn't get what he could have got. Right. The mother crazy mother would have been there. That shit would have been bad. Or if he had just been like, knock him out, wake him up, knock that shit. You know, my main memory of Pesci was the day that the, the farmer dude, uh, what was his name? I already forgot. But he, uh, the prank dude, the, the prank dude. God damn it. What was his name? Uh, it was something that rhymed really good. God damn it. This kills me that I can't remember. But either way, he, he was with G Face, and when he was calling you boy over and over as part of the skit, they were about to f***ing run across the, the state. Dude. White Dolomite, God damn it, yes, White Dolomite. They were gonna run over here and attack him. Like your boys were mad, but they were mad, yeah, and they were kind of f***ed up, and they were ready the to show this out. This is the difference, right? We all work off of each other, right? I know they movement, they know my movement. I ain't said go. So what they was doing was some extra out shit. Mm. Cause it could have led to some other shit. They were ready to go without you saying math, that yeah. it was time to we go. We doing the math on everything. I gotta do the math. My daughter's here. This is a place of work. And we had no jumper. All this math is going on my head, so the homies is gonna read me. I forgot that was the day her daughter was here, yeah. Yeah, I mean that it wouldn't matter. We didn't give a she didn't see some horrific shit. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm just factoring it all in. I'm factoring it all in, so, I, you know, I'm not going to be just, like, I know where I'm at. This is, like, so, but come to find out, yeah, whoever this dude took her, we might have to get him in here. Sure, I'm open to it. From the Bay, like, I, a rap, I don't know, is a rapper or some shit? I feel bad because Pesci has hit me up mad times asking for an interview, and it's kind of like when somebody is, like, big ops with one of the hosts, it's like, if they're really relevant, if they're, like, a very, like, popular rapper, then interviewing them still probably makes yeah. sense. But if it's, like, someone who basically is just a random dude from L.A., it's like, why am I interviewing you if you also have a bunch of animosity towards different people on the show and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't a reason for to do that. You know, I, I never even mentioned it. You know, but at the end of the day, um, you know, listen, man, uh, I'm refocusing my energy. I will expose your ass. Uh-huh. He's lucky that I'm not in that state of mind to where I'm pressing that. Right. Because I'd have been on the phone with the homies. Boom, 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 boom. Then it would have went a little further. Uh -huh. I'm just thinking about other things. Um, uh, Lil John. Lil John. On the Fingers. OTF. On the Fingers merch. Mm. Last minute, I called Nick Cannon. Nick, you got the Wild and Out tour. Lil John got the On the Fingers merch. We want to. He want to put his merch at the thing. So we pushed some buttons, said, Whack, is you, his family. We got his merch in there. Lil Jon showed up, being respectful with 200 pieces. Uh -huh. He created the Wildin' Out On The Fingers merch. Shit sold out 15 minutes. Wow. That's a big thing, bro. So shout out to you, Lil Joe. Like so that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's big, bro. Impressive. Like, but, but, but this is how resources work. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know, this is how resources work. I know Nick, that's my right hand. Thank you again. I want to say 
I appreciate everybody that's been coming to the channel, showing love and support, man. This is my life story, 702. I go by money, man. Um, stay tuned in for more up and coming videos. Um, man, we got a lot coming to the channel. That's all I got to say, man. I appreciate all the love and support. Make sure y'all become a member. Like I say, once when we get to this 2K subscribes, I got something in the work. So let's just keep going and keep, you know, pushing the content. I'm going to keep pushing the content out. And just come keep showing love, man. Much love to everybody. And we out. Yes, sir. He got a fucking tour. He was um, talented enough, him and the homie. Uh, what's the homie now? Scrap from Long Beach yeah. to create Wild and Out merch. And red, blue, pink. What was the other color? Uh, blue. Another two. It was two tones oh, of blue. Yellow.